Oh, good morning. Welcome to my channel. I'm Aquaman and today we're going to be talking about fitness on the trail. Stay tuned. Welcome back. My name is Rick, my trail name is Aquaman, and on today's video, we're talking about fitness and conditioning. So, first question, what do I know about fitness and conditioning? Well, for the last 20 years, I've been a personal trainer. I'm a two-time Ironman finisher. I'm also nationally licensed and certified as an occupational therapy practitioner. So I know a little bit about both the medical side and the physical fitness side. Also, I'm an avid rucker. So what is a rucker? It means I throw weight on my back and I go for a lot of hikes. Wow, doesn't that sound familiar? So, take a look at what I've got to show you. Hopefully some of these exercises and stretches will help you along your way. And if you could, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment if you have any other ideas down in the comment box. Thanks. Let's get started. Now, the exercises and stretches that I'm gonna be demonstrating are things you can do both as a conditioning while you're getting ready for the trail and things that can be done on trail. And I'm gonna be demonstrating the first half in the tent to show you things you can do before you even get up in the morning to get started. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is called pelvic raises. Now, again, this is all done while you're still on your sleep system. So, by simply laying back on your back, arms by your side, you're simply just going to lift your pelvis up and down. And this is gonna again, work the low back and the pelvic region. And just do this for, you know, two or three minutes if you need to, just to kind of get warmed up, but at a minimum 30 seconds. Here, you wanna shift onto your side. And you wanna do side leg lifts. Now, if your tent doesn't allow for it, just go as high as you can. And again, you wanna kinda of work out the hip flexors. You wanna make sure you do both sides. Next are reverse crunches. Now you wanna do these slowly. Now go ahead and put your hands behind your head. You wanna pull your knees up, crunch, and extend out. Come in, crunch, and out. Nice and slow, and that's gonna work the lower abdominals. And again, you're gonna want these to be strengthened as well, because you're gonna have your hip belt around that region. So go nice and slow on those. The next one is called a bridge hold. This one here, it's like a plank, but you're gonna do your forearms and toes. And you're just gonna hold yourself up and count to 30. Breathe in through the nose, and out through the lips. And again, that's gonna be a good core developing. And you're gonna to wanna to do that one as many times or for as long as you can comfortably. Next are called seated bend over stretches. Now this one here, you sit up, reach down, grab the top of your toes, pull, pull for five, and release. And you're gonna to go to the outside, pull, pull, and release. Go for the inside. Pull, pull, and release. And do two or three sets. Next is called the butterfly stretch. Now, this one here, you're gonna put the bottom of your feet together and try to go as low as you can with your knees and bring your nose towards your feet. Hold for three to five seconds. Come back up. Down, three to five seconds. And back up. Next is called a cat back stretch. This one, go ahead and get onto all fours and you basically just arch your back up. Stretch the back out and down. Stretch the back out and down. All right, next we're gonna be doing something called reverse push-ups. Lay flat on your stomach, lift the hands up, pull the shoulder blades together and lower your arms. Bring them up. Pull those shoulder blades together. Really get a good stretch on that upper back. 
and back down, up, a good stretch on the back, and back down. Next is a hurdler stretch. This one, you're gonna tuck one foot in, one leg straight. You're gonna reach down. You're gonna feel that in the back of the hamstring. And stretch it out. Come back, switch sides, and stretch the other side. All right, the last exercise can be done either with an inflated air mattress or without, your choice. And it's just standard push-ups. Now, I like to go ahead and put my hands on the outside, keep my toes on the air mattress. And do a few good push-ups. And again, that's good for upper body strength. So those are 10 of the exercises and stretches I'll do inside the tent. Next, we'll transition to outside. Okay, now that we're out of the tent, we have our camp shoes on, let's perform a few exercises and stretches outside the tent. First of all, jumping jacks, simple jumping jacks. Just something to get the blood flowing. Don't have to go forever. A good 15 to 20 will help get the heart rate up and get things moving. Go ahead and go wide with the legs, hands on hips, and go deep. Come back up, and go deep again. Now these are called sumo squats. Next, you're gonna be doing alternating lunges. Hands on hips, just go down and up. Alternate, down and up. Alternate, again, again. Those are gonna be alternating forward lunges. Okay, next, we're gonna to move to, to three position calf raises. Now, from the side, what you're gonna be doing, first you're gonna just go up onto the toe. Then you wanna go what I call pigeon toe. Again, good 10 to 15. And then out, or like a ballerina. And now we want to do something called standing hamstring stretches. We're going to cross over, go down, stretch it out. Go over, go down, stretch it out. We'll do about five or six sets of those. Next is going to be called trunk twist. Hands are behind the head. Just a little left, come center, right. As we come back to center, we're gonna pull the elbows back for a stretch. So left, center, right, stretch. Okay, about five or six of those. Next is called trunk bending, four and out. Hands are gonna be on the hips. Gonna bend down, pull for three, come up, go back for three. And that's one. Down for three, up, back for three. Again, trunk bending four and out. Next is gonna be cross arm stretches. Gonna bring the arm across, hold for three to five seconds, switch to the other side, three to five seconds. Again, you're gonna to wanna to do about three or four sets and then we'll do neck rotation. Start with the neck down, rotate all the way around and you'll go 10 to 15 seconds in one direction 10 to 15 seconds in the other direction, like so. The last one is called up, back, and over. And this is gonna go up, back, all the way around. Up, back, all the way around. And again, that's gonna work out the shoulders, the back, upper back, chest. So when the pack straps are there, that'll help loosen things up, especially if you had a long day the day before. All right, so those are the exercises stretches. Hopefully this will help you out on your trail, both for preparation and while on the trail, and hope to see you out there. Take care.